Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're out filming on location uh, and basically what I'm doing is, as mentioned on the end of my last video, uh, the Mini 2 physically picks up Galileo satellites whereas the Mini 1 doesn't. So I thought to myself, right, this could be quite interesting. So I never ever ever used the return to home function. Obviously, return to home's kicked in when I've been on range tests and it's sort of uh, lost connection. But what I always, always do is reconnect before the drone actually gets back to me. And I've always landed it manually. Um, and not only that, this doubles up as a test of the Start RC landing pad as well. And the reason for that is simply because, obviously, as you can see in the video now, especially in winter, you're going to be able to sort of, you, people are going to want to fly the drones and pop to parks, etc. Now, I did mention about the Mini 1 case, which I doubled up as a landing and takeoff pad, which is quite cool, or especially a takeoff pad anyway. Whereas the new Mini 1 case doesn't actually have that. Um, so I just thought, right, okay, um, let's get ourselves a landing and takeoff mat and uh, just test it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get set up and then we're going to, uh, yeah, get both of them in the air. Now, it's a little bit windy today, so I'm going to face and make sure the drone is landing into the wind, which can also sort of double up as a bit of a test, really, to see if the Mini 2 does perform better in the wind or can land more accurately um, and cope with the wind so also when it comes to the star rc landing pad make sure you do watch the full video because at the end i'm going to be running a bit of a competition where you can win one i think this is going to be quite a good video all round. so let's get started right so this is our drone landing pad as you can see from star rc and we've got a nice little carry case for it so let's unbutton that unzip that and there we go so you've got two sides, so you've got the orange side and then we've got this side as well. Um, I would imagine the orange side is probably going to be the best as it's easier to see. So you also get these pegs obviously for nailing it down and because it's obviously winter and it's a little bit windy as I've already mentioned, I am actually going to struggle to get these open. There we go. So I'm going to slot these through there like that and then just put two in. I'm not going to bother with uh, all four because it's just not needed. And that's it, we're set up. Right, so we've got 16 satellites locked in. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There we go. So we don't need to go far, just going to explore the landscape. Right, so as you can see, this is another point to this video as well. So as you can see, the sky is a little bit blown out. Um, so that's quite handy really, because in our, one of our next videos, we're going to be reviewing some of the free well ND filters. And then we're going to return to home. Go home. So it's coming down. So this is the Mini 1, let's see how well it's going to do. And it looks like we're about to miss. Right, 
Right, so that's a miss. So as you can see, we landed quite a bit short. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly over the spot, give it another go. Like I say, we are getting blown about a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is go to safety and update home point. So let's see if we can do that again. Please check it on the map. And I'm going to just bring the safety auto return to home down a little bit further because we don't need that. Right, so let's give it another go. That again. Be interesting to see on the next video with the Mini 2 how many wind warnings we get for a similar sort of altitude. Maybe should be doing it so close to the water's edge, but. <laughs> Right, so once again, that has missed. So I'm just gonna land that manually. Right, interesting one. Right, so let's try this one. So we're going to take off. We've got plenty of satellites locked in. Interesting, we've got that battery temperature message. That's gone away now. So, auto return to home, let's just reduce that down. The so same thing again, we're just going to fly out a little bit and then bring it back and see how it, well it does. So we're in normal mode on the Mini 2, just like we was in position mode on the Mini 1, just to make things fair. Right, that'll do. So let's spin back round, and then let's hit the return to home. Let's see how well it does. Looks like this one's landing in the exact same spot as the last one. Right, so we'll do what we did last time. So we're going to go back above the landing spot. Going to go down a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to update the home point. Just the same as we did last time. And let's go up. And just like last time, we're going to fly off. So interesting in this test, as I'm sure you have seen. Don't want to jinx myself, but the lack of wind warnings.
compared to the Mini 1, which I think is quite significant. But of course, the wind is behind us right now. So let's see what happens when I turn it back around. There we go. Right, so we've updated our home point. And we're going to click return to home again. Oh. Go home. Let's see how well we'll do it this time. I notice you can't really adjust. So when the Mini 1's flying, you can still control the yaw of the aircraft. Whereas this Mini 2 doesn't seem to be doing it. I don't know if that's a setting I've got. I mean, interestingly, no matter what, we didn't get... You know, there's that typical gimbal jump. Landing. It's coping with the wind so much better, hardly any wind warnings. So we've got 28 satellites locked in on this one. Seems to be doing that a little bit better. But we are still going to miss just by a little smidge. So let's see how well I can do manually. Let's cancel the landing. landing. Right. But either way then, down to the Star RC landing pad. I mean, realistically, you know, it's really, really handy, especially in this sort of condition where I'm trying to fly it from now, you know, by a sort of wet, soggy riverbank. So I honestly think that something like this is absolutely well worth worthwhile getting. Um, obviously, you know, most people do fly manually anyway um, and land manually, and it just gives you a safe spot to be able to land. Right, so interestingly then, um, obviously, even though both drones didn't do brilliantly or land on the mat, it was clear that the Mini 2 did do a slightly better job, especially on the second run where we updated the return to home manually. But what I think you really need to sort of take into account is just how good the Mini 2 actually did perform in the wind. Obviously, with the Mini 1, we got constant wind warnings. Now, obviously, what you didn't see, um, unless I decide to include a little bit of footage, is off. Basically, after that test had finished, I went and did a couple of runs up and down the river, um, and I was only flying in cine mode um, on the Mini 2. And I still didn't get any wind warnings whatsoever, even flying in the in the uh, you know the the slower mode. But anyway, I mean at the end of the day, that's what it's advertised to do. And obviously, as you can see, it is much better in the wind. So, like I said, there is a competition in this video, and what you're basically going to win is one of these Star RC landing pads. So I think they're really, really good. I mean, at the end of the day, it saves you getting sort of grass and dirt and everything in your drone. So. All you need to do to actually win one of these is one, make sure you like this video, two, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and three, comment on this video what you thought of how that test went. And that's all you need to do to be able to win one of these. So the winner will be announced in a couple of videos time. I will put a little uh, notification in the title when the video of the winner will be announced. But basically, cut long story short, it's a great, great piece of kit. And don't forget, if you don't actually win it, there will be a link to buy one in the description below, straight to Amazon, and you can go get your own anyway. It's not expensive, but it does make a great difference, especially when you're trying to fly your drone in winter. And I'll tell you now, I am absolutely frozen to the core. So I hope you appreciate me doing this test in this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.